Hey, Carter Kramer here from Cell Site Solutions. Today we're going to talk about a mobile cow or cell on wheels, or we like to call this unit is a little larger than some that you've seen probably, uh, which is actually really like a mobile cell system. So come on with me, we'll take a few uh, little peeks at some of the finer points and talk through this unit specifically. So one of the best parts about this particular cow or mobile cell system is that it's got this primary power system built right onto the unit. So as you guys can see, this actual generator, this is a three-phase 25 kVA MQ power generator. It's only got 289 hours of operation, uh, only been used for this particular cow. Uh, this is actually a switchable unit, which we'll show you as well. Um, there's a selector switch uh, where you can actually choose uh, between your single phase 120 240 voltage, uh, your 139 240, or your 277 483 phase. Uh, so this, uh, this particular generator can run several different sets of power systems. Um, again, low hour unit, like new, only been used on this cow. Uh, great thing to have with the mobile system to have that primary power set up right with the unit. No reason to run any power or take any time for that. We'll show you a couple more parts here in the back. Okay, so now we've popped open the side of this cow, which got some great side entry access. As you guys can probably see here, this is a great size of a cow. Uh, basically a little over 8 feet wide. We've got 16 feet long of enclosed space in here. Uh, right now in this cow, we've got seven full racks already set up in here. Um, the old batteries and some of the old equipment has already been removed, so it's all ready to be set up with your new uh, specific radio transmission equipment. Um, I'll show you a couple more details in here as well, but this is just a good idea to see how much space is really in here and how much equipment you can fit in and still have some good usable walk around functioning space to work on this equipment inside of this, this particular cow. Okay, so here inside the actual cow itself, uh, you guys can see here that we've got a nice little combination panel. Uh, you've got your 200 amp service panel down here towards the bottom with all of your breakers. Uh, at the very bottom of the unit we've got a surge suppression that's actually built in. And then you can see here you've got your main power source which is actually that generator that we looked at on the front. Uh, you've also got your backup alternate source which is going to switch power to the generator receptacle on the front of the unit as well in case you want to have a separate backup power connected to this unit while you have it out in the field. Okay, so another great part of this actual cow itself, we've got this pneumatic tower, 60 foot mass, just outside in the front, which you probably saw. Um, this particular unit's actually also got a built-in compressor, air compressor on the inside of the unit that's bolted down to the floor. Just a simple little plug into your AC outlet, um, and we can shoot that, shoot that mass right up into the air. Great feature to have. Okay, so here we are at the back of this uh, cow, or cell on wheels. Uh, you can see a couple nice little features in the back as well. We've got a nice big flat diamond plate platform. Uh, easy to stand on, easy to get in and out of this unit. Uh, you can see you've got your outriggers out here as well. Um, we've got a ladder uh, which you can actually lock closed here to give you access to the top of the unit where we've got a toolbox. Obviously you have access to the mast up there as well. Um, easy entry access door here in the back. Kind of sure how that open. It gives you access to the inside. Um, along with that, then we've got our second 3-ton Marbear air conditioning unit in the back as well. Um, again, these are AVP 36 air conditioning units, redundant. We've got a lead line controller inside that will actually exercise or run both units um, if, one, if one unit would happen to fail or any, anything of that sort would happen. Okay, so back up here at the front of the cow, um, you guys can see here we've got a couple of pretty cool features up here in the front. Uh, one, we've got a manual disconnect right out here, accessible from the outside. Um, you can see we've got your, your safety switch right in here. Um, right down here, obviously, here's our mask, guys, our 60-foot mask, which comes right up in the middle here, which has this air uh, flow that runs right into that compressor that we looked at inside. Uh, you've got a nice little cable organization system that as this unit goes up, the cable will actually just kind of unravel up to 60 feet up onto the, uh, up onto the mast. Um, we've got our generator receptacle here, which we talked about inside with that combination panel. Uh, having the main power source be the generator, backup power source to your, uh, your generator plug here. Um, and then also obviously we've got our telco access box right here in the front also. So very easy access. Um, everything here is set up extremely well, easy to use. Uh, great unit for somebody looking for something that's mobile, fully contained, and uh, easy to set up in the field.